Hi there, welcome to my course. In this lecture, you will learn about attacking BlackBerry applications, traversing trust boundaries. The trust boundary of a BlackBerry 10 app is in the first instance of the operating system user that the app runs as. It is a trust because each app is run as a separate user to implement the sandboxing concepts discussed. A second trust boundary may then exist in devices that are configured as balance enabled. Balance devices are configured with a personal hub and an organization controlled hub that are separated from each other via a variety of access control lists at the file and network level coupled with process separation. This look like this figure. In the diagram, each hap, app has its own private data sandbox within which to operate but is also free from runtime modification of the executable image. The entire container communication includes another degree of separation that is the inter-process communication mechanisms that would be available between app 1 app 2 and app 3 within their own container are typically disabled or limited in inter-container situations. Files Numerous file browsers are available within BlackBerry world. They provide the ability to review what files are in the shared directory as shown in this figure. Alternatively, you can use SSA's access to review the files and their contents. For files that are held in an app's private directory, you can recover anything sensitive stored by an attack. Invocation Framework The invocation framework addresses the concept of bounded and unbounded invocation. You primarily want to focus on bounded invocation because you want to target a specific application. To understand what an app's invocation framework attack surface is, you need to look in its bar descriptor.xml. Within this file, there will be angle bracket, invoke target, angle bracket close, tags. For example, this is the example. This code snippet says that it handles file URIs that end in dot monster for open requests. When attacking invocation framework clients, you will use these definitions to attack with URIs or files that are either malformed to cause undesirable behavior in the target app or to cause files or URLs to be accessed that lead to a second stage attack. 